Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, August uh, 21st, I think. <laughs> uh, anyways, I got some Happy Mail here that I wanted to share with you guys. I just got it yesterday, so I wanted to come on here and share it real quick. And uh, yeah, I'll be getting a lot of Amazon packages tomorrow of things that I ordered. <laughs> and I can't remember if any of them are crafty. But I might still show them to you just because some of them are weird. <laughs> but um, I did order some zippers and some of those crab bag thingies. But uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to get into the Happy Meal. So first I got a postcard from Erica. And this is such a pretty postcard. This is definitely going to go on my wall in the living room where I put um, all my cottage core top things. I love cottage core stuff. And if I had a better, I don't know. <laughs> that's like if I could have an aesthetic, that's what I would want to be. I love the way people who have the cottage core like my light just went off. <laughs> cottage core um uh oh, I think it might have shorted out. Okay, we're not gonna worry about it. We're not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Anyways, it's darker now. Um what am I saying? They wear like pretty dresses and stuff and they have all these pretty like dainty things. I love that aesthetic. I just I can't do it. <laughs> you know, with the kids and stuff, I can't do it. So, but anyways, this is the card that she sent me. So this is going to be going on that wall where I keep all my cards and letters that people sent me that have that aesthetic to it. So I just love stuff like that. But she just sent me a little note and I appreciate it so much. Um, and it's just cute, really cute card. I'm going to hang that in my living room. <laughs> and then I got a package from Anjanette at, uh, she's from AJ's Personal Touch. We did a, um, a, a little yarn swap. She purchased a bag from my shop and then she also was interested in some knit crate yarn that I had if I wanted to swap with her. I can't remember what yarn it was at the time. It's been a month or so ago. Um, but anyways, I got her package. So it came with this card in it. A Snoopy card. <laughs> really pretty card. And inside the card was two T's. This is one. Um, this one <laughs> is stashed cranberry pomegranate. And then this one is botanicals. Strawberry lemon orange blossom. That sounds really good. And then also was one of her business cards with some stitch markers on it that she made for me. So there's like a window with a cat sitting in it and then this really pretty dangly piece. It's got like a pink and blue gem and like a pearlescent gem with a heart and a flower. And then this one says made made with love and it's got some little pearlescent like uh, gems on there. Just really cute little stitch markers which I will add to my stitch marker heart, which these are all stitch markers that have been gifted to me. There's a couple in there that I purchased, but they're mostly gifts and I kind of cycle through using them. I'll come in here and grab a random one and uh, use different ones. So I'll be putting that on there, them on there and using them eventually. And then the yarn that she sent me, um, cause Knit Crate is usually like fancy fibers and they're usually, um, like DK weight and smaller <laughs> and that's not the kind of yarn I like to use I like to use I'm like a basic acrylic type person because all the things I like to make are made with acrylic yarns I like to make um amigurumis and like decorations and stuff so I don't need any fancy fibers so she sent me a bunch of just basic acrylic which I love so she sent me six balls of line brand basic stitch premium and I don't think I've ever had any of this yarn um so it is 100% premium acrylic it's a number four worsted, and there are 219 yards in each ball. So this first one is called Raspberry. It's really hot pink. <laughs> it's really pretty. I like it a lot. So that's the first one. You need it up there. And then the second one is called Saltwater. It's a pretty blue, like a royal blue color. Really pretty. And then the next four are all the same. And they're like a baby pink color that's called Opal. And they're like a pretty pale pink. So I don't know what I'm going to make with these. But I'll make something with them. And I love it. I love getting to try new new to me yarns. So I've never used basic stitch. I've seen other people, you know, haul it and stuff. So it would be nice to it's tried out. It seems a little on the thinner side of a four. Like I would probably call this a number three. But I mean I could still use that for uh, amigurumis or pretty much anything I want to make. I eat them all up there on my bed. <laughs> I'll put them up later. So that was what I got from AJ. And then I ended up getting an Amazon package and um, I knew it wasn't something I ordered because I watched the tracking like a hawk <laughs> and I don't have Amazon Prime so I don't get my shipping uh, orders really quick. So uh, when I picked it up it was a gift and it's a gift from Connie and she is from Connie's Crafty Corner and um, she just she sent a little note and it just says enjoy your gift 
but uh, so it came with two things in it. So the little thing is this little bag that's on my wish list. These are just little things that I've been wanting to buy. They're little Halloween. I think they're uh, like acrylic or something. No, the resin. That's what I meant. Little uh, Halloween themed. You know, there's uh, like there's ghost face and there's little ghosts and there's there's a Jack Skellington head in there, right there, <laughs> and pumpkins and I think there's some witch hats. And uh, they don't have anything on the back of them, so that you can like glue them onto things. Uh, I was kind of hope making, wanting to make some of those. Um, you get like a paper clip, and then you like put something on it, and you use it as like a bookmark. <laughs> I don't know what those are called, bookmarks, There's a witch hat, things like that. Just little different. And here's like a straw. Ah, this is like a strawberry Jack Skellington. This is cool. Look at that. That's so cute. But you can like glue them onto pins or anything if you want to. And uh, so that's pretty neat. So that was the first thing. That's been on my wish list forever. I've been meaning to buy that and I just keep forgetting. <laughs> and then the second thing was like a big gift. And I wasn't expecting anyone ever to buy me this. Uh, I have a bunch of wish lists on Amazon. I like to keep things organized. I have one for Devin, me, June, Jesse, our house. Uh, crafty things that I want. No catch your name things. And then I have a few private ones. I have one that's for homeschool stuff and a couple other private ones. Um... That I just keep like things organized that I want to buy eventually for either them or myself or whatever. And you know, occasionally people buy stuff from, from it for me, which I'm super grateful for. But I never expect uh, them to ever buy anything that's kind of on the bigger side of my wish list items because it's things that I, I just want to buy eventually. And so she bought me, it's a badge maker. <laughs> and here's like the box. I have already opened it, but I haven't used it yet. So it's like a press where you make badges and they're 55 millimeter, 58 millimeter uh badges so here's like the sample one so they're pins you know badges that you like pin to things i wanted one of these because i thought it'd be cool to make like crochet related ones eventually and either sell them or put them in you know happy my packages and i got the i put the 58 millimeter one on my wish list because i wanted the bigger size <laughs> but this is like the like where they tested it in the factory this is the test one it was still in the machine when i i opened it <laughs> but um so it's like a press and it comes with i think a hundred um of the pieces to make a hundred different badges and that's really cool and um i thought that was really cool because it's kind of an expensive item that she purchased it for me so I, I appreciate that a lot but inside of it there's also a book i don't know how to open it without making too much noise it came in the book with like a story in it and then it's got a bunch of the little um pictures you can cut out to make badges with but i won't be using those because those are copywritten um like it's like a little storybook and then these pieces you can cut out and make badges with this book is cool it's like one of those magic books when you flip it this way there's pictures and then if you flip it this way there's no pictures <laughs> it reminds me of those magic books you know but um anyways and it came with all the pieces to make the badges the little press and everything and it also came with this cool to tool if i can get it out and it's a cutter and it's the size that you like you put the paper in there and it cuts it that's pretty neat uh, I haven't messed with it yet because I just got it yesterday. So I do plan. I told my sister because she has Cricut. I was like, we're going to be making some badges. <laughs> so we could buy some um, on Etsy, some SC, SVGs or whatever that are crochet related. And I can make buttons. I thought that, well, they're called badges. I always called them buttons. But uh, there's also a button maker on there that I want. But it's even more expensive. I, I want to get that like one day when we have a house and have a bigger craft area. Um, and it makes like buttons like for clothes the cloth covered ones because I have so many scraps all the time I thought it'd be cool to make a bunch of those and like maybe sell them because there's a lot of people who buy um, Trinket it's called confetti and it's just got a bunch of buttons and just little things mixed together And I thought that would be good for something like that or just people who want buttons. But anyways back to this. This is the batch <laughs> I'm keeping that because it's like someone in China made this because this is made in China I thought that was neat. I told him I was like someone in China made this button and it's just it's a button now So it's like I'm gonna keep that because it's cool <laughs> But yeah, it came with all the pieces. I think there's a hundred. Cause like here's all the backs, and then there's another piece down there with all the um, the metal parts that like uh, <laughs> that you press the image onto, and then there's like clear films that you put on top of the image on the metal thing, and it like puts the plastic coating over it. But I just thought that was so neat. That's such a cool gift, and I wasn't expecting anyone to ever purchase that for me. I just put that on there to buy myself, and. Uh, I got it in the mail and it was cool uh, little gift and then the little Halloween things and I was excited about that so I don't know what I'm gonna use this for other than those clips that I want to make I, I have a bunch of these that were gifted to me in a Halloween swap last year 
that I have in my craft box in there. It's like a old makeup box that I've been saving. So I'll probably pull all of them out and put them together. And uh, I want to make some of those clips. But I don't know how to cover up the hot glue on the back. I have to get ribbon or something. Some of the Halloween colored stuff to put on there. I have to watch some YouTube videos on how people make those. A lot of like paper craft people make those and put them on um, like junk journals and things like that. So yeah, so that is my little bit of Happy Meal that I got. Again, I'm going to be doing another Happy Meal video uh, in a few days, but it's going to be stuff that I ordered for myself. And it's not going to be crafty stuff except zippers and those metal hardwares for crab bags. I'm trying to remember what I ordered. I can't remember now. I could order some sewing uh, notions and a popcorn pot <laughs> to pop popcorn in. Uh, I can't remember what else. But anyways, thank you both, or all three of you, Erica, Anjanette, and Connie, for your gifts. And I appreciate them so much, and I just love this card. I'm going to hang this right up in my living room. It's so pretty. I love stuff like that. I would love to be in that field with the wind blowing and just relaxing. It would be so nice. But that's such a pretty card. Like, this is almost frame-worthy. I don't know what size, a, what size is a postcard? <laughs> oh, it's a John Williams Water Horse. It was the artist, and the, it's called Wind Flowers, 1903. Oil on canvas. It was originally 45 inches by 31 inches. That's pretty cool. That's neat. I love that. I love that picture. It's so cute. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video eventually. <laughs> I know I've been doing really bad at vlogging, but it's just because it's a lot harder this time with a small baby. When I first started doing vlog videos with Jesse, he was one and a half, so it was a lot easier. You know, he did his own thing, and I was able to do stuff in between dealing with him, you know. <laughs> but it's a lot harder with a little baby. She's almost seven months. She'll be seven months on Friday. Um, so... She's getting bigger, but uh, I don't want her to get big too fast. But I'm looking forward to being able to do videos regularly again. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.